go-getters never know boo. DJs put it in, see what it do. You put all this to kick back, to relax, to sit back. Sure you want to do this? Oh, yeah. What are we looking for here? We're going, we're going hockey haircut. Hockey haircut. Leaving the flow in the back. Little flow. Trim up top. Little puck. Gotta keep little, it yeah, little puck. <laughs> Senior year. Senior in year. In Utah, early in the spring, where did Casey Rose think he was going to college? Uh, University of Colorado Boulder. Wow. To do? Uh, I was going to play club lacrosse and ski as much as I could. Wow. What are your earliest memories of lacrosse as a kid in Utah? Because lacrosse wasn't big in Utah when you were a kid. No, not at all. And um, my first memory was, uh, well, I signed up for lacrosse in second grade, and I, and I get to practice, and I met Garrett Bullitt, who, who I pl ended up playing with pretty much every year until I graduated high school in 2014. And then now we're on the same team here. What was youth lacrosse like back then? Um, like your first experience with lacrosse, well, it was what gravitated. We you called to the sport? it. Um, I think I think it was my mom, and uh, you know how is she gonna deal with two hyper boys, and uh, so she signed us up for lacrosse. It was an up and coming sport. You know we had some friends that were playing. What was the biggest adjustment for you being a kid from Utah, coming to the Garden State and playing lacrosse in Jersey? Uh, I, it was a pretty big adjustment. You know both socially and like culturally for me just because I would say I come from what people out here would say like a granola background you know <laughs> with uh <laughs> skiing yeah with a lot of like a, like it's skiing and hiking and like you know outdoor really, really outdoor yeah. culture and then I came out here and uh you know p you realize that people grow up a, a lot differently than I did and and uh a lot more diversity within Rutgers and it was really awesome though, you know, you, you meet kids from all over, interact with a lot of different interesting people and it's been really cool. You know, right now I'm just kind of getting into the, the masses of it, so I'm gonna take the scissor out in a little bit. And okay. Gonna, I'm gonna clean you up good, but. Well, yeah, I don't have any mirrors to look in, so I'm trusting that you're doing a great yeah, job. How are you nerves out right now? Yeah, you, uh, I know, it's like, a uh, lot's you, coming off, but I can't see like? anything. No, you're, you're, <laughs> when did you start skiing? How old were you? Two. Two years two. old. Yeah. Two. Yeah. <laughs> what are your earliest memories of skiing? Um, I, I just don't remember really life without skiing. Um, yeah, it's such a big part of you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's been every winter, I'd say, you know, 80 to 100 days up until I was 18. Um, and so, yeah, we just grew up skiing in Little Cottonwood Canyon in Utah. And, um, you know, we'd go up after school some days every weekend. And, uh, you know, ended up building a good crew of friends and it's become a true passion. Growing up as a skier, I guess from a national scope standpoint, when were you your best in regards to like comparing to your peers? Um, well, when I was 14 years old, so in 2010, I won the, the North American Free Skiing Championship. So that was- For your age group? Yeah, so for my 12 to 14 year old age so group. So you were the best big mountain skier in the country? Uh, yeah. For your age? Yeah, correct. That's, that's pretty time. sick, that. man. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 big time. that's big time. That's, that's cool. big time. How has skiing made you a better lacrosse player? When I go home over Christmas break, I'm skiing, you know, pretty much every day. So I got, I think I got 19 days in when I went home for break this 19. year. 19? Yeah. You come back really strong, you're skiing at elevation, so you come back in really good shape. There's that standpoint, and then, you know, just your ability to, like, read and react to, you know, fast situations and just developing as an athlete, you know, lacrosse and skiing constantly build on each other. What's your favorite trick? We do... Like your signature, that's case. I do a lot of flat threes. It's like an off-axis backflip, so you're basically going off a jump, looking over your shoulder, and uh, coming around on your feet. So what's the emotion like? Comparing like scoring a goal like Big Ten game versus hitting a backflip off a big cliff. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's really? Pretty, yeah. So the similarities I mean, between a backflip and scoring <laughs> a cross goal? Well, it's like the rush. It's like yeah, it's it's an absolute rush, and there's few better feelings that I've ever had than scoring a goal, especially if you like if you're working on something, you're grinding on something all week in practice, or you're hooked, and then and then it comes to fruition in a game like. There's, there's few better feelings. If you were to meet someone on the street, maybe a lacrosse fan, 
and they asked you to describe Casey Rose, what would you say <laughs> as a person and player? All right, I'll two-part it. Uh, <laughs> as a player, real athletic, watch the rollback. Watch the rollback. Um, very dynamic athlete, just can break you down, has good footwork, good IQ, knows when to move the ball. And then as a person, and I'm not just saying this because of the camera, but like, Probably one of the greatest dudes I've ever met. Like, really? Always wow. laughing, like joyful. One of the most relaxed, like I don't know. You're very easy to talk to. Yeah. Easy going. And he's just always got a good positive twist on things, I feel like. Come in the locker room, you just you're gonna hear Casey's laugh <laughs> one way or another. So he kinda makes it seem like it's not gonna be that bad of a day, even if it was a bad practice. So you're supposed to go to Colorado and play club lax and live the mountain life and you decide to come here. Yeah. And play for Coach Breck. I mean, was that a tough decision for you? Yeah, it was. It, it really was. Um, and, you know, in the back of my mind, it's always, you know, you got, you got four years to play college across, and you got your rest of your life after that to go skiing. So I went in with that mentality, and, um, you know, I haven't regretted it a day since, really. <laughs> I could swim on you. That's about your it. hair dries quick, man. You like that, like, it's when you get short, out of the shower, is it like that? Uh, the, the shorter, the, the quicker. Well, that's typically the case. <laughs> <laughs> For you, like, what are your individual goals? Last season specifically, I, I missed a lot of opportunities that were there. So I, I want to capitalize on these opportunities that, you know, I have created for myself and maybe not have been able to really, you know, take advantage of. So, you know, that as a player, you know, I want to, I want to you know, make my shots. I want to, you know, think less. I want to analyze less. I want to go out there and play and have fun and enjoy my senior year and, really make it all worth it with uh, you know the guys I love being around every day. Can you spend just a couple minutes <laughs> in the mirror in the morning? What do you think? I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> on the wrong side. Oh yeah, Clark. Oh, looks good. You like it? Oh yeah. What Perfect. do you think Susie Rose will think? Susie Rose will definitely She's approve. got more of her they baby's got, face they, back. The so. A plus stamp of approval. Your mom's got the baby face back. All right. Thank you, like you. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. Can you tell I uh, left it a little longer for you in the back? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you.